I'm holding this. He's holding that. I sure am. You ready? I don't know which one actually. All the uh, I'll push it back down a and repeat 1,000 times. game of whack-a-mole. We already have it pretty much tacked down really nicely worked out but now we're filling in any gaps where we left um, Clico's before. Uh, but whack-a-mole it's fun. Ready? There it is. Ready. Ready. Good. Where will she go next? Where? Ready. Ready? Good. Hi, party people. Okay. Mom, high five. Oh my gosh, I've never been more ready. Hit it. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful, Dad. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Do I get that in one? Uh, yeah, let's do the end one. Papa. Um, ready, hit it. One more. Give me a really, really quick burp on that one. 
Good. Beautiful. I like it. Alrighty, Austin from the future here. Just finished wrapping up the editing that last portion you just saw with my parents, uh, or my parents were in town, were able to help me buck rivets, which was awesome. Uh, so we finished bucking all of the rivets for the uh, the top skins here. Um, ignore the wing cradle and outboard leading edge there. Those are one-off projects I need to release videos on. I'm, I'm drowning in footage right now. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna do a quick time-lapse form video of uh, those, nothing too fancy on, uh, on either of these, but drowning in footage and probably spending too much time editing and not enough time building. So uh, ignore those for now. Those will be in the next video. But on the topic of the top wing skin here, came together really well. Um, you probably saw on camera, we did get to these uh, these last ones here. Um, so right before my parents came here is when I was chatting with Vans about uh, what to do when they gave me the all clear to move head, uh, where I had a little bit of a gap that formed here. You'll notice the gap is not uh, nearly as prominent as it was before, or at least in my opinion, it's not. Uh, so it did end up coming together a little bit more, uh, but still there, still slightly noticeable, but um, like I mentioned in the previous video, Vans did give me the all head to, to move forward. Again, don't take these videos as how-to guides. If you have any issues, you call Vans, do your own research. Uh, this is just some dummy in a garage building a plane where he's ever built one before and uh, all, the, all the struggles that I go through doing so. So anyways, when it came to riveting these last ones here, uh, a common pain point is getting to those guys. So you'll see here, I did acquire a new bucking bar. I found this guy on eBay, uh, which has a much tighter much tighter angle there. And you'll notice I also did radius, um, that bottom side to kind of fit over, up and over the tops of those rivet heads. So uh, worked really well, happy with, really, really happy with the results. I know this is a common pain point uh, where a lot of people will mention either going to uh, pulled rivets, which I'm not sure if that's um, advised or not, but uh, just different methods. That were, this is a common pain point. So that worked well. Went on eBay, found a guy who's selling uh, just a, a bunch of random bucking bars. So I think it was maybe $20 or so for several, several bucking bars, but a couple of bucking bars. Um, but it did work much better than trying to use this. I did try to use this originally and it was just chunking the side of the rivets where it just isn't able to get inside. Um, and here you'll see also I have similar type of gap on this side here. Um, again, that was given the all clear by Vans, but you'll notice that uh, it's probably hard to see on camera, but just the angle is just not tight enough to get the tip in there. Uh, it would end up just chunking the side of it. So if you're getting to this point, you probably do want to start looking at um, either making a fancy bucking bar of your own or do what I did and find someone who has a used bucking bar on eBay. Um, but anyways, overall, that one went really well. Um, I know I'm kind of rambling here at this point, but when I get this video ended, uh, you'll see this other wing is not riveted at all. So this one will be in another uh, future video. I'll probably just do a time-lapse video um, of this one here, just a quick one, because uh, it is going to be a whole lot of rivets of the exact same thing, only on this one here. So anyways, I'll quit rambling now. Next video that I'll release will honestly probably be the outboard leading edges, followed by the wing cradle, just so I can get that out. I'm sitting on a lot of footage, and it's preventing me from building, and uh, it's kind of counterintuitive to the whole airplane build. So yeah, so anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know these videos are kind of jumping all over at this point here, uh, but the wings, there's really no clear cut way to make good videos of the wings. So apologize if it's a little bit choppy. Uh, wings are a beast. It is a beast to tackle. I can definitely see why uh, a lot of people go to quick build when it comes to the wings, because it is a lot of work and a lot of one-off projects. It'll probably continue to be that way, um, especially with the issues that Vans is having with the that dang back-ordered bag 1208. So. Um, that's kind of leaving a lot of unopened edges here and there. So um, it's gonna be choppy, apologize for that. Um, but anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for liking if you do, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.